you guys didn't know, I released Mafia Definitive Edition, the whole game, the whole walkthrough. If you haven't seen that game, I highly recommend you check that out. It was my first time ever playing that game, and it was a great game. And I played this game a few years ago, and I thought it was great. And I can't wait to replay it again and play it as I'm older, you know, it's always cooler. And, um, yeah, I'm real excited. You already know, hard. Let's get it. Presents the game's narrative content in its original form from 2010. The game includes culturally sensitive content and themes and is intended only for mature audiences. So, yeah, there's a crazy background behind this. So, on my PS3, I was just a little kid. I was like 11 or 12 or something, whatever. And I had downloaded the demo for this game. And I would always play the demo, and it was like so cool. And then, you know, years later go by, and I come up across this game. Played it. And it was pretty cool. And it was honestly one of the my, one of my favorite games of all time, like top ten. And yeah, it's just so cool. I finally opened up a YouTube channel, and I'm providing content now. It's pretty cool, man. Really, I feel real grateful about it too. It's, it's cool, man. The guy who wants too much risks losing absolutely everything. Of course, the guy who wants too little from life might not get anything at all deep right there My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream. It was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work. And what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't gonna do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, oh shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! Run the shoot! Shit. 
Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. Now put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry, Vito. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Chapter 1. The Old Country. Sicily. July 1943. Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini's soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return to faith. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. All right, Scalia. Yeah. Allora, traditori, pensavate di poter giocare con noi? Di tradirci? Avete pensato male? What the Vi hell facciamo are you vedere noi come trattiamo. Shit! I'm dead! I'm dead! Come on! Jesus! Corporal! This guy's saying there's more troops headed this way. All right. You and Williams take out that MG, then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. Ain't getting through this way. Looks like we found the machine gun! Watch it! You got a grenade, Stiletta! This would be a great fucking time to use! Put a grenade through the window! Whoa! Stiletta! You alive? Yeah, just about. Well then get off your ass and let's move it. Grab all the ammo you can carry. Oh. This might be our last Look. chance. Yeah. On the stairs! Make hey, grease ball! Catch! No nice scarfo! You missed, asshole! Water! Must have the prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor. Scaletta, you take point. Uccidete gli ostaggi! Kick it in! Oh, you fatto saltare il cervello! Shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on. Oh shit! Get some fuck! Let's get the show! What the hell is this fight out doing? Keep moving. Get inside. Hey, stick your foot. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside.
dicevo al mio amico di stare attento. Fregatene di fare attenzione, fai ciò che ti è stato detto! Davvero Don Calò? Cacetto, un congè quando si amareta come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noiazzi del posto. Ci rendiamo? Sapete che potete fidarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. Saved by the bell. What do you know?